My father, Charles Roach, dedicated his life to justice, fighting in peaceful ways. He was born in Trinidad. He was a community leader. Yay! He moved from Trinidad to Canada in 1954, 54, 55. He enrolled in um, the University of Saskatchewan at that time. Yeah, and he, uh, he composed a little song which was about how even though Trinidad is such a beautiful place, a wonderful tropical island, um, you can't eat rainbows, and you can't live on sunshine. So he was hustling for a dime. who used to say to me, you look like the identical combination of your mother and your father. You don't look like your mother, you don't look like your father. My father was a performer. He was a lawyer, but he had his costume, his robes, going to the court. Uh, you know, speak to the, the judge and the other lawyers and the client using script. And that's how I saw him from my perspective. You know, what was going on there was a performance. This is Five Selby. This was the second office that uh, Charles, my dad, and Hetty um, had, and home that they purchased. Dad's office was on Brunswick. Then uh, he, he left that place, moved the office in here with the house, and his main office was in the front room, which you can see there. One day, we were inside and we heard a crash. Somebody had thrown a bottle with red paint inside and the paint had splattered all over the files and the desk and stuff and on the bottle it said KKK and it wasn't the first vandalism of its kind of a racist nature that, that we um, were subjected to because people would scrawl on the doors and that followed us like the various places that the business was located including up on St. Clair West. He was very well respected. But when there was conflict within the black community, he was the kind of arbiter. And people would come and, you know, Charlie, you know, how are we gonna, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about that? And, you know, this one and that one. And he was, uh, trained as a lawyer so he could you know kind of tease out all the sides to things and explore what are ways to resolve problems and uh, so he's a real peacemaker um, so uh, he was very very highly respected in that regard He often didn't speak about personal hardship, um, or at least when he spoke about personal hardship, it was always with a view of hope. So I think that's how I see his optimism was fed because he believed the change. He believed in the change. Oh, 
sing a happy song. He said, sing a happy song. Sing a happy song. In Babylon. What's going on since he's been gone? Shoot down Alagon. Eleven badges, eleven guns. Shoot down Michael Alagon.